there is no simple explanation about why someone is in pain. You know, we all know people on, on paper, they have everything in their lives to be happy and still they are struggling. What are you doing here? Nicholas hasn't been to school in almost a month. I wanted to ask, how are you? Has something happened? You realize the school is talking about expelling you. I try to portray three generations of men and you have the Anthony Hopkins generation saying, you know, get over it and be, in a way, be brutal to yourself, but don't, you know, lose time to explore too much your thought, your soul. And on the other hand, you have the teenager who is more able to articulate what he feels, but still he doesn't know how to be heard and how to deal with his own life. And in the middle, you have this man, someone who doesn't know how to navigate between his role as father and as son in the same time. What's going on? Are you on drugs? You think you can just live your life doing whatever you feel like? In my experience, when you're going through difficult moments and you always feel that you're alone, you know, that you're the only one to be in this, in this situation. And I think this is what art can provide, you know, to make you remember that we are all in the same boat, uh, you know, which is humanity. We have the same fears and the same challenges and that's okay. Um, and I think there is a consolation here, you know, to be part of something bigger than yourselves. And, um, that's what I try to do also because when we did the play on stage, you know, I, I really felt that after every performance, you know, the audience was sharing a lot their own experiences about mental health issues. Either it was about their difficulties or their children's difficulties or, and, and I felt that if it was not, if it were not after the play, maybe they wouldn't have mentioned that, you know, it's, it because there, are, there is too much shame. And so the film to me was about this, about opening a conversation and, um, yeah, trying to face what we want to shy away. I feel like a complete failure. I wasn't there for him. There used to be so much joy in our family. And it's hard to accept that there is no explanation, and what, especially when you're a parent. And this is where you start to think, is it my fault? What did I do wrong? And all these things about guilt that doesn't help you to help someone else, you know. And the more we could see mental health issues as we do see physical issues, for example, the better we could help other ones because no one would blame anyone for having like a heart issue or a stomach issue. I think that's the way we should see mental health issues as well. Hello, son. You came to tell me what a good dad you are? What do you want? Applause? What was important to me is to work with Hans Zimmer, who did the, the score. I mean, it's, it's really in a theater that you can appreciate the meeting between uh, a film and its score, you know. It's, there is a magic about, you know, creating music for a film and trying to find the right uh, musical world. And I'm, I'm very happy with what we did with uh, Hans Zimmer. And I think that's uh, another reason to go <laughs> in a theater. Thank you for watching Picture House Cinema's unique video content. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with our movie news, cast and crew interviews, highlights, trailers, and lots more.